Hi guys, it's Dr. Mohamed Usman and I am back with another video. Uh, if you haven't liked my YouTube channel, do visit my YouTube channel and like and subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay updated. You can also visit my Facebook page for updates. So let's talk about today's topic. So today we will be talking about how you can use Minitab to calculate two sample poison rate. Before we start and go into the actual working, I will talk about the uses of two sample poison rate. It is used to determine whether a rate differs across two different groups. Uh, it is also used to determine whether uh, there is a higher difference rate in one group and lesser in the second groups. And it will also use to determine a rate differs by a specific amount in two groups. So basically if your uh, rate is very smaller in any different group, so you can use the two sample poison rate and it will allow you to find out that what is the range of that difference that is between two different groups. Uh, similarly like we will use uh, the data that can uh, follow the poison distribution. In other words we can say that it can uh, display or represent the counts of V1 defects or activities. Uh, for example we can say that number of uh, uh, pedestrians in two different crosswalks, uh, number of cars moving in two different streets number of persons crossing a road or two different roads so basically we can just work on this one and we can just find out uh, what is the uh, difference between two different groups so at this moment we are going to work on a sample worksheet which is postoffice.mtw this is a postal service data in which we are going to compare two different post offices branches and we are going to find out which has the greater daily rate of customer visits so Let's start doing it. You will go on the open worksheet and you will go to the post office worksheet. If you uh, cannot find the sample data, just click over here. It will take you into this window. So just go over here and we are going to the post office one over here. We have this one post office dot MTW. Just open it and over here you can find out branch A and branch B. So you can see that there are different amounts of data available here uh, of different branches and there are different number of customer visits basically. So to calculate two sample poison rate you will go up into the stats basic statistics and you will go on to the two sample poison rate. So when you will click it uh, this window is open over here in this one we have to find out that we will select each sample in its all column. Uh, basically you can also select that both samples in one column so we will just click over here and you have two different columns so branch A over here and branch B on this one and frequency columns all the option when you will click OK it will show you the difference between two different branches so you can just find out over here what are the results for post office dot mtw we can see that total occurrences are 9983 number of variable 40 rate of occurrence is 249 and similar like in branch B total occurrences are 10291 10291 difference of is equal to rate branch A minus rate branch B estimated difference is minus 7.7 .7. so the test different uh, it will also give you the 95% confidence interval for difference which is this one test difference uh, test for difference is equal to 0 Z is equal to minus 2.6 and P value is 0 0.31 so exact test uh, will also be giving you a p-value of 0 0.031 so basically over here if you can see that there are different data and according to this one you can see that the total occurrences are increased if I go over here in this one and if I change some uh, values like if I make it 300 and if I make it 350 let's see what changes in this one you will just go again over here sample poison rate we have already the branches over here you will just click ok so now you can see that the total occurrences have increased in branch a and branch b were same because we, we haven't changed so you can see that the estimated difference has became less so basically when the occurrences will increase it will tell you the difference is less in branch a and b and you can see that the p value is already changed before that we have a p value of 0 0.031 and currently we have a point value of 0 0.229 so this is how you can do 
two sample poison rate in mini tab and you can just compare anything and you can find out the differences between two different groups so this video was up to here if you like my video do visit my youtube channel and like and subscribe to it you can also earn training certificate from our video channel the process is as follows and it is easy for you we have issued many certificate for many participants and you can also uh, get uh, special certification certificates so what you are waiting for go today to my youtube channel and like and subscribe to it thank you